coffee and tears to shed for finding paradise. This is gonna be sad. No, it's gonna be heartwarming. It usually always is. Hoi Tim Penguin, Hoi Ben My Sai, Hoi Lusana, Hoi Ka Benjamin. So, Isaac's computer is having issues, and as a result, we're gonna finish up finding paradise. I don't remember the keys. I think it was. I think it was. I don't. I don't remember how to interact with anything. I don't remember the keys. What? Oh, we found the memento already. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Didn't I? Did, wasn't I using a controller with this last time? No, it didn't take control of the threat. I'm very sad. Um. Oh, it was just space, that's right. Okay. Colin's upset because he spilled his amaretto sour, hold the amaretto. That's apparently his memory. Uh, you got food at Sheets? How dare you! Is it like Sheets? I don't care for it. A small uninhabited aquarium. Though they do have hamburgers, I'll give them that. Well, that seems redundant. Oh look, he's roasting marshmallows while waiting for her to drown in the tide. Come on, Colin, the water's not that cold! Aww. Okay, she's just gonna say the same thing over and over. So this is their late honeymoon. Hi, Sajida. Um, once again, sorry that we didn't have Dot .hack tonight. Um, I did want to finish this anyways before I started my new job tomorrow. So, because I didn't know when I would have a chance to stream it again. And if this ends early enough, Isaac's going to stream some near because that's what he wanted to do. A blank piece of paper. Looks like he's about to lay down some rhymes. Rhymes? Why? Is he doing this poem thing? He's watching her sleep. It's creepy. Fia, you still awake? Nope. She's snoring. I see the glowy spot. Told you lemon juice is the way to go. So I did look up, um... What is classically used to make the sour if you don't use the cocktail mix for an amaretto sour, and it's essentially lemon juice. So essentially, he, his amaretto sour, hold the amaretto, is freaking lemonade. Meanwhile, she just has plain old amaretto. She, she had the booze. A faded painting of Bora Bora. Not that amaretto's very strong anyways. That hibiscus. This is more of a suitable place for that kind of flower. Got everything. It's time to leave. <clears throat> I've got to go all the way back. Oh, near, you can't wait for the salt. Yay, backtracking. <laughs> At least it's a beach. I have to put on my wrist strap. Okay. I don't know if Isaac's gonna get salty with Nier, or if he's just not gonna properly understand how to play it, but I did kinda help him and told him what buttons did what, so he didn't have to try and figure things out on his own. Because I figured he was gonna get super angry with it if he didn't get past the beginning and if I didn't tell him how to freaking dodge. Oh my god, thank you, Axel. I forgot to change the game in the name. Yeah, it helps. Some triggers change the memory lanes themselves. Oh, freaking hell. Are you serious? I suppose. It's not what we need, though. There. It's not, that's not gonna work. There we go. 
How's the napkin? Because he remembers his spilling it. I don't get why that's a regret. He just spilled a drink. Why does he regret that? Because it wasn't the perfect, like, vacation? Or honeymoon? Lasana, you just gifted a sub to Perot. Thank you for the gifted sub, Perot. I mean, Lasana to Perot. You know what I mean. Exclamation sub. Exclamation sub, what? Hey, your shift's just about to start at the shop. Okay, I'm almost done here. Why is Faye allowed to be on the wing? Did you even get your homework done yet? Do it when there's no customers. Snake eye, I like it. Did you get yours done? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> you, you, you are now a sub, pro. That's what you've been. Something happened to Faye. Something really bad happened to Faye. That's dangerous. She should really get down from there. She probably died falling off the wing of the plane. Actually, I don't think something bad happened to Faye necessarily. I think somehow they separated from their lives. Because whoever the static person is that keeps on appearing, I feel like she's still there. Or he feels like she's still there. I don't know. I'm guessing. Let's go inside. By the way, I asked Isaac if he would sit in here and watch this with me. He says he hates these games so much that there's no way in hell he would sit next to me. He just doesn't like story. Psst! That new kid they hired is really quiet. Yeah, but at least he gets work done. Doesn't he have a scheduled flight this afternoon? Yeah, but we're a plane short because someone snagged a blown tire. Unless someone gets cancelled, I don't think he'll get to fly. Does he even have an instructor yet? Beats me. Hey, I think I'm talking about you. I know, shh. Why would he be allowed to fly if he doesn't have an instructor yet anyways? Oh. Oh, because he's been learning. What? The book. A blurred entry about working at the airport and Faye falling asleep on the wing of the play, a plane. Oh, he's on his journal. There's also some random class notes, read, about runways. The runway numbers actually tell you the direction of the runway. Simply add a zero to the end of the runway number and you have the magnetic heading it's facing. E.g. runway 9 means it's 90 degrees on a magnetic compass so it's facing east. This is also why the numbers on opposite ends of each runway are always 18, 180 degrees apart. Oh my god. Each plane has a minimum airspeed it must maintain under each configuration to keep flying. Something about exceeding a critical angle of attack and airflow separating from the air foil, etc, etc. You're not a fan of Dear Esther type games either, just glorified visual novels. I just can't, I just can't handle it. I, I, I don't like all of them. I do like, I did love To the Moon, which is why I was totally psyched when Axel got me Finding Paradise. <laughs> in conclusion, planes are kind of like the bus in that movie, which explodes if it goes under 50 miles per hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not engine failures. Contrary to some beliefs, by the way, this part, boring. But I'm just doing it just to see if there's something. Contrary to some beliefs, engine failure doesn't make the plane plummet out of the sky. The plane would no longer be able to climb, but it could still land in a pilot-controlled glide. Reminder to self, the engine failure does ju doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky. Engine failure ju doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky. Engine failure doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky. What? Why is that three times? Close notes. That was really weird. Engine failure doesn't make the plane just plummet out of the sky. <sighs> Every single time! Uh. Here, let me get that for you. You just gotta unhook it from the inside and... Wow, that is some crazy maneuvering, kid. I've been here for years and I could never figure that thing out. You must have, like, some kind of ma magical vending power. Um, I only know because I have to clean it, so... <laughs> uh... Is there anything in the trash? No. I have three out of the five. I haven't even found the memento yet. Okay, here's $24 and change. Wow, that's a, a lot of pennies. It's okay. I have all day. What? 
What is Faye looking at? Hurry up and count the pennies, kids. You're holding up the line. Can't interact with this person. You want to go in wanting a visual, no a visual novel, even the old school VNs from RPG Maker, like if Eve had gameplay in the form of puzzles and story effective. Yeah, I agree. This one feels gamey enough to me that makes me like it too, even though it's more of a visual novel. Just like that, huh? I guess everyone has their reason to start flying. I forgot. That's Barry. I gotta give him his gruff voice. Mmm, what about you? Well, just between you and me, flight instructing isn't my real passion. In fact, before I came here to teach, I was an acrobatic skywriting pilot. I like how Faye's asleep on the chair back there. Wow, like make wow, like making stuff appear in the sky with plane trails? Yup, I was darn good too. But then I got fired. <gasps> Why? Did you take an arrow to the knee? Total discrimination, I tell ya. It was all cause they found out I'm an illiterate who dropped out of school. Did they do they care that I was the most skillful pilot in the fleet? No. But just cause I don't read good, they dropped me like a hot potato. Ugh, it riles me up just thinking about it. Why why don't you learn to read? Yeah, that really doesn't sound fair. Well, um, maybe if I need your service one day, I'll be able to hire you. Thanks, kid. Man, first you get me my soda, then you vow to give me my life meaning again. I see that I'm gonna have to flight instruct the hell out of you. So, Bar yeah, Barry's his flight instructor. That went well. It went well, except I have another memory I'm missing. She sure makes herself at home. Okay. Hmm, might be in a bit of a rut. There's still a memory link missing, and the readings indicate we've activated everything in the area. Yeah, maybe we could stimulate his memory somehow? Hopefully, let's keep our eyes open. Stimulate his memory, how? Maybe with the flight pages? Like, the journal? Uh, did you feel that? What? I don't know, some kind of a breeze. That's that that tells us where to go. Let's go out. Can we go out? Huh, this wasn't open earlier. Did you do that? Uh if I did, you would know. I've been literally right behind you. In fact, I don't even know why I'm just following you in a constant manner. <laughs> I do like how this game makes fun of itself at times. Uh Oh my, that's not normal. What the heck is this? I don't know. But it seems like this may be our ticket out of this memory. So what, we needed a way to continue and this place just magically opened itself up? In the most unsettling way, no less? I'm not sure what's going on with this place either, but there's only one way to go now. <laughs> Come on, we gotta jump. Oh, hey, oh, no, I can't even look down. It's the only way to find out, Neil. Okay, I'm jumping in three, two. Oh, he got pushed out. Quit pushing me off ledges, Eva. What? I didn't push you. The fuck you didn't. The game censors itself, but I don't. <laughs> Of course we're flying. Whoa! Hey, you hanging on all right? What is even going on and why is this happening? Wait, tone your ham down. I think I see them inside. So load us inside or something. What is even going on and why is this happening? You're doing just fine. We're not gonna die. Now do you have the runway? Now do you have the runway in sight? I, I think so. Okay, fly the approach and don't forget the cockpit check. Um, mixture full rich, uh, primer in and locked. Zero Yankee Romeo, cleared to land runway 21. Zero Yankee Romeo. We're too high, get some flaps in there. Speed, lower the nose. All right, I have control. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Hold on, looks like we're gonna land. 
I want to know what happened to Colin's parents. They sort of like just vanished. We saw them in the very beginning when he was really young, and we haven't heard anything from them since. They obviously don't have much money, considering Colin had to push himself through this. <laughs> oh, Dr. Watts. Hey, you all good? No, Eva, I'm not all good. You're, you're not even really there. <laughs> In fact, I'm dead. Game over. <laughs> Get the fuck off! All right. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Things like that are why I like these games. Is it normal to feel kind of dizzy? Don't worry, you'll get past it in time. You know what? Here, take my hat. Wow. Ah, oh, you remind me of back when I was a young lad. As in back then, I also knew someone else who was nervous like you. Hi, I look pretty cool on that. This is nothing compared to the acrobatic skywriting flights I've done, I tell you. One day, I'm gonna get back to that. Uh, can the plane be the memory? What is this? No, I think we have to go further down. No, we don't. Oh. Why is this plane not a memory? It's like static. Okay. So what? This looks like ways we can go now. I honestly don't know where the, the memento is. I figured it'd be the hat, but... Can I go? No. Oh my god, what if the memento's the hat? And I'm walking all over for no reason. Yes, Axel, I just saw that you said that. Maybe it's the sign? Uh, no. The memento has to have more meaning, I would think. Like, that hat has a ton of meaning behind it. It has to be the memento. His whole head is gonna become a memento. Yup, see? Bam! Right to the noggin! Another headshot, Eva! No scope! Booyah! Give him the concussion! <laughs> You're lucky I programmed my head to be hard as a rock. You sure planned ahead. Bubby. Uh, so we need the hat, huh? Um... This should be this. This should be it. Let's do it like this. There we go. Activate. Should be going back to when he's slightly younger than he's older. At some point, where it's going to come to a head with a uh, Fay. That has to be for Sophia. Yeah, Sophia, will you marry me? She's, he spelled it wrong. Damn it, Barry! Oh, maybe that's why he calls her Fia. Well, he did warn him. <clears throat> will you marry me? Oh, the whole thing is totally misspelled. No, regret, misspelled proposal. How is that a regret? So that's why he got fired. Oh, it's because he's so... <laughs> Oh my god. We found the memento. S 
so what's the memory? Oh, this is this is weird. Okay. Um I can't get Sophia to interact with me. And he's just doing this. What if I go back here? Anything? Anything? No. There's only one memory to find! Oh, I already had it. Never mind. Huh. Okay, so I want the cello this time. Ah, oh, frickin' hell. That do it? Yeah, that did it. Okay. Seriously? Only one single orb for the memory of his proposal? Hey, at least he remembered it. I remember when Isaac proposed to me. <laughs> oh, he got super happy. <laughs> it was super sweet. Uh, hi. <laughs> Man, how are you able to pilot an airplane but not drive a car? Oh, that's Fia. That's not Fia, that's Faye. Priorities, thanks to you. Come on, we're gonna be late. They're really spending a whole lot of time together. She's sure getting lots of screen time compared to his wife at his proposal. Maybe that's why Fia's so upset we're there. She knows about Faye. There's something about her that really bothers me. Oh, don't take it so personally. It's not like Colin's your husband. That's not what... Ugh, never mind. Hi, actually. What's the matter? You know, I think I gotta pass on this one. It's your first rehearsal with them, right? You're nervous enough as it is. Hey, I'm not nervous. And even if I uh, were, well, you being there would help. I guess, but I can't always hang around, you know. Besides, you'll be able to concentrate better without me hanging about. What? Hey, remember how you always used to tell me about your day after school? Why don't you go on ahead and you can tell me all about it after the rehearsal. Okay then, it's decided. Bye! You'll be fine. Did she, she literally jumped into a bush? Wow, what a wacky gal. Received a note, wacky gal. H how do I, how do I get my inventory again? I forget. Oh, that way. Someone's a little cuckoo in the head. It's true. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to go that way. Suppose I could have seen if I could interact with the static key people. <gasps> what about here? No. What about here? No. Oh, I'm going to be able to go down. Hey, the rehearsal's about to start. Chop, chop. He's got his journal couple of blank pages. Oh. This journal is the memento. Hi, Shiro Rose. How are you? Why didn't Faye come inside? Is this the right place? Oh, so he meets Sophia. Oh, I can't believe I'm late. Was that Sophia? I guess so. 
Received note, meeting Sophia. So they met at the theater that she always used to work at. Colin and Sophia met at a community band rehearsal. But this is, isn't this the same theater? Or is it not? Maybe it's not. Oh, don't lie, community bands don't sound that good. Okay, stop, stop, stop everything. Something was off around bar 36. From somewhere on my right side. By someone in the cello section. Someone sitting in the second row toward the front. Colin, is it? I think you were rushing a bit. Better watch that. I will. Alright, let's pick back up from bar 35. Right into the solo. Ready? Wow. Way to call someone out. You're sick? Oh, get better. You can be better by watching the stream. We're good for what ails you. Music's pretty. Sheet music appears to only have cello and piano parts on it. So he's just... This is what he focused on was himself and Sophia the entire time. Well, at least things worked out. Things kind of worked out, you mean, or we wouldn't be here. Wow, sick burn. This is the wrong emote at the wrong nice. time. Lissana just gifted another sub to Azillo. <laughs> Welcome to becoming a fuzzy, Azillo. Is it it's gonna go insane because he's making all the sims? <laughs> Let's see. Memento, prepare. Let's see. Um, are you serious? Um, here, there's one. Can you put that the stream has started the announcements on Discord? Don't look at me like that. It's I there. Brad mentioned it. I didn't officially go in and do it, and usually I do. I kind of rushed starting this one. Probably should not be doing that. Alright, I'm done with mine. Me too. Let's see what you... What is that? My best effort. Going on dates already? He sure moves fast. Well, we're still skipping around. Sometimes... Sometimes probably past. Quick pencil sketch. I'm gonna see what his is. Oh. <laughs> oh. Gee, I wonder who he learned to draw like that from. Oh, Azillo, I'm glad Lasana could brighten up your day. That's sweet of you, Lasana. This child will not let me interact with him. None of these people will. Is there anything over here? I don't think so. Oh, there's a whole other section over here. There's a section up above and there's a section to the right. Hey, where is it going? Wow, for a cephalopod, it sure is cuddly. It actually kind of tickles. It's spitting on him. 
Receive note, regret, ink attack. He has so many regrets. Why is this even in the petting pool? What does she have to say? She's just laughing. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Azulu. Oh my god. What is she doing? Jellyfish! Really? Uh, are you feeling alright, Eva? So many of them! Well, uh, it's good to have interests other than gardening, I guess. <clears throat> Go take care of this memory, will you? Just leave me be for a while. Right. The how dare Angela emote is amazing. I am going this way, long way just to see what's over here. What the hell is this supposed to be? I don't get what that even is supposed to be. This is the last memory. Well, I guess I've always loved the piano, but... When I was a kid, I had a piano teacher. Every time I played, she made me feel like the worst pianist in the world. Penis! <laughs> I mean, for a while I stopped going and I stopped playing, but I guess I was a kid with no self-esteem because it really got to me, and whenever I doubted myself, I'd remember her words. One day I had enough, and I said to myself, someday I'm going to be a concert pianist. But isn't that letting her dictate what you do with your life? Well, I guess I have a weird way of seeing things. To me, it doesn't matter much which path I take as long as I make the most of it. There's only so little time in this life and we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things to try, other paths to take. So in the end, I think I just have to be satisfied with the ones that I took. But I'm just blabbering now. Enough about me. How about you? What made you want to become a pilot? I... I wanted to fly to places. That's it? Wow. <laughs> a long time ago, a friend of mine went somewhere far away. I guess I just wanted to go find them again. Anything important going on up there? Not sure. I was staring at the sharks. Are you freaking kidding me, Watts? Okay, call me when we're ready to move on. Lusana is a tier 3 sub. <laughs> she gets all the memotes. <clears throat> Paper plane, huh? Yep. Crap. Oh god. The frickin' hell. <clears throat> do I just have to keep- no, I can't. There's gotta be another way to do this. Which other one can I move? Can't move that one, can't move that one, this one, this one. That one. That one, that one, that one. So I can move this. That's right. There we go. Activate memento. Activate. <clears throat> hey, we're good to move on now. Go on then, I'll catch right up. She's just staring at the jellyfish, why? There was a whole section I missed! No, there wasn't. 
I lied. I came back and I found this section. Sure, take your time. Hey, no one's kicking me out. Good thing I got my hours in time, huh? You better have. It's gotta be a different world out there. I make Faye sound like such a bitch. You ready to go? I'm gonna stop making her sound like a bitch because I have a feeling it's gonna stop being bitchy in a bit. Yeah, in a moment. You done with your jellyfish phase? It's not a phase, and yes. What's going on here? Not sure yet, but the place sure looks deserted. Wanna draw a plane? No one here will be no one will be here to see it anyway. Is the school f shutting down? It was family owned and operated. So it's very possible it became so big that it just it shut down. I bet it did. I bet it closed. I bet it was bought out. Cuz it's not even a commercial airport. It was like a private airport. Yeah. You've always liked that picture, yes? <laughs> the dawn. I've had them save it for you. Just a little something to remember this place by. Thanks, boss. You've done good work for us, kid. Honest, respectful work. Oh, and I almost forgot. Your favorite plane's still here for one more day before we move her. If you want to give her one last flight before then, it's on the family. <laughs> You're confused by what um, I meant? That it became too big? I, um, hold on. The airport that he started at? The shelf should look weird being empty, huh? This whole place does. The airport that he started at, that he first learned to fly, and that he was working with was a small non-commercial airport it was basically for private flights and such so it only had small planes as time goes on those types of airports depending upon the area can easily go to, go out of business because large commercial airports will end up taking over i mean if you have a large commercial airport that was built near the area because the area is getting bigger or something why would you need the smaller um airport so, I'm guessing that the place just ended up closing down. I mean, it obviously did. It's locked. I figured the last memory would be outside. We don't even have the memento. Oh, there. Notice on the... Notice of airport closure. Hmm, I guess all things come to an end. Received note. Closed airport. Nope, not that. Well, it's, I mean, it's sad because it's where he started, but, I mean, we already know that he moved on to bigger and better things for himself. Thanks, boss. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it. They were out-competed. Something along those lines. It doesn't, there's no, I'm guessing and going far beyond what the game is telling us, but it, it's basically, it, they closed down. They couldn't continue to function. For some reason or other. And obviously the family's kept hold of some of the planes because they're moving it, unless they sold them. So what's the next step? The airport closing down and all? Sure. Well, there's the freight flying job I applied for. I did an interview with them the other day. I think I got a good chance at it. There's still a long way to go, but that'll help me build some more flight hours. Wow. To think that you've actually come so far. It feels like only yesterday we were still standing on that balcony. Thanks for giving me the kick I needed, by the way. Happy to have obliged. Hey, any progress with that lady from the orchestra? Sophia? Well, we've been talking. And? I don't know. I might try to ask her out on a date soon. But, well, you know how I am with that stuff. 
Want to help me prepare? Oh. I'm not sure if I'd be much of help with those sort of things. But if you want advice, I'd, just, I'd say to just work on making yourself more interesting, blah blah. Yeah, yeah, still a work in progress. Is there a regret that he never actually asked Faye out? We haven't been talking as often as often lately, you know? Sometimes even when I'm here, you just do your own thing. I know. Sorry, it's just been so busy. The good kind, though, right? Seems to me like you've got it together. I... We're, we're at le easily at least three-fourths of the way through. Hey, you gonna take up the flight the boss offered? Barry said that there's a grass strip near the hill we used to go to, right? Might be a good time to try a landing there. Yeah. You coming along? Mm-hmm. Received note drifted apart. Well, that's... I mean... That's kind of normal in life, as sad as it is. It's odd how such a simple wish of being happy could be so tangled up. He sure didn't make it easy on us by being ambiguous with the details. Here, I got an idea. What is he doing? Received permanent marker. Did he just... There, now let's get paid. Did... What did he... did he just draw a mustache on him and say we're done? You moron, you can't just draw him a smile like... Oh my god, he drew a smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just draw him a smile like that. <laughs> Lips are red, not black. <laughs> Great job. Now he looks like an affectionate joker. <laughs> We've almost burnt through all the memories, haven't we? I guess. The vortex should be just up ahead. Good. Maybe that'll help us get to the source of what he wants. As if we don't know that already. Hmm? It's her, obviously. There's a reason she keeps on showing up. The guy clearly got his childhood sweetheart on his mind and he's been asking what ifs. He doesn't want his family changed. He wants her, but he's got principles so he knows he can't have her. The perfect equation for a sad, sad man who needs our help hacking the root of the problem. Are you suggesting to remove her? Well, if we do, you'd be the expert. But whatever happens, we'd have to change something. And in the end, she's the one we could alter the most anyhow. All you have to do to alter it is make sure that Faye and him never s separated. And they just remain friends. <laughs> Colin himself said we should try to avoid changing things involving his family, right? And out of these memories, Faye's the only other consistency that we keep coming back to. I guess you're right. We could start with her and work our way up from there. But something still doesn't add up. Hello? Oh, it's, it's, it's Ditsy, Dr. Ditz McDitsy. Could it be? It's me, Roxy, I'm here! Oh, how's it going in there? Uh, awesomely, of course. <laughs> you had to erase the smile. How are, how are you doing? Did you bring the paperwork? It's, I, I think the problem was the fact that they drifted apart from being friends. Yep, I brought the paperwork, all right. I also brought Rob. What? I can't stand that guy. I can hear you. Hi, hi, Rob. Hey. Anyway, you guys want to come out real quick to get the paperwork done? kind of on a roll here. Maybe we should ask them to help us with the papers. Oh, by the way, Neil, I was gonna ask. About the machine, I think I saw- I'm heading out! Get the forms ready for a fill-in! Wait, what? You know the protocols, Eva. Collins, our patient now, and he's- and one of us has to check the forms. He did something to the machine. Yeah, but we've let others help before, and headquarters never cared. Maybe we should have cared, Eva. Maybe we should have cared. 
when were you the one for protocol? Anyway, get that last memory link while I'm gone, will ya? I won't take long. And call me when we're ready to go to the next memory. I don't want to miss it. Hey! Act two, you don't have to leave anymore. I thought we were three fourths of the way through. I'm pretty sure we are. So let me get this strat. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucks, but look, it was the easiest way. Had I just left it to the company process, it would have never gotten done. Much like this paperwork. Oh my gosh, I just realized you're talking and writing at the same time. That's amazing. I hope I didn't cause you to make a mistake. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, and that's saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually remind me a bit of someone from this patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place, too. Oh, I bet I would have loved to meet her. I'm sure you would have. Too bad we're gonna have to do something about her. Anyhow, whoosh, the paperwork's done and signed. Thanks for bringing in the, the docs, rocks. I'm gonna go check on Colin. Oh, you're just gonna get away like that. You might have fooled Eva and Rob, but did you think you could fool a fellow technician? I did a quick diagnostic earlier. It seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment, is it? Because your registered machine is back at headquarters in your office. Oh, that's what she found in there. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm gonna find out. Hey Rob, how's this the situation? Hey Rob, how's the situation looking? It's fine. I was talking with the medical doctor and what's with the murderous atmosphere? Oh, Rob, you tripping again. No, I'm not, in fact, tripping again. Is everything going okay in here? Swimmingly, Neil was just gonna check on Colin. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on Colin. Bye. I wanna, I wanna look at the house, I wanna look at the house, I wanna look at the house, there's something right here. Oh my god. Zilla donated three dollars. I'm broke, but wanted to say thank you for the streams. I'll usually lurk in. Thank you for the donation, Zilla. It was super sweet. You are always welcome to lurk. You're also free to like talk if you want, but lurk away. DK, these are all pictures of Ash and and his Sophia. We've already seen these. Huh. A whole lifetime of memories, and we barely ran into any of these nice ones. Oh, that's true. He has all the whole photo album, and we didn't see a single one of those memories from the photo album. You're out early. Just need to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. Bring up Colin's memories? Yeah. We've done connecting most of the paths through Colin's memories, by the way. If you'd like, I could tell you about the things we found. I thought that would be considered confidential. Yeah, but you're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. Thanks, but I'm okay. Aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? Sure, and there was a time when I've been dying to know every detail. But now, I don't think it matters much anymore. Perhaps you know some things I don't. Maybe it'd even change my view of things. Still, even then, it'd be just another incomplete piece of reality. And after a lifetime where all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is simply stay with the reality I've come to peace with. There is, however, something I wanted to ask, only because I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here and like this? No, I was actually going to ask you about it. He's had it for a long time now, but he kept on replacing its pages, and now it's just filled with pieces of blank paper. 
If you find something about it that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I know I haven't been the most welcoming, and you probably know why by now. But I know you're just here to do your job. So, thank you for helping him. Yeah, no hard feelings. Hmm. Hi, zombies all! I'm doing good. I better see how Eva's doing in the first place. What about any anything else? Anything else? Nothing else to search here. Anything in the other room? No. Maybe I should check in with Eva first? She's not gonna hear me like this. I need to use the machine. Patient Neuralink established. Systems online. View connection status. External neural connections. One operator. Profile Dr. Eva Rosaline. Established communication. Hey Eva, do you hear me? Neil? Yup, how's it going in there? Just trying to find the last memory link. Still? There was only one left. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I've looked everywhere. But the scan shows there's one more here somewhere. I'm gonna find it. You done with the paperwork? Well, I just... <gasps> what was that? Damn it. Where are my pills? Neil? Better not have left them in the car again. Hey, you still there? Pills? Sorry, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. Uh, how long does it take to fill uh, to take to fill and sign some papers? It's uh, almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. All right, just make it quick. It shouldn't take long to get back to the car and back. Why is he doing this? Oh, let's talk to Asher real quick. Hey, may I talk to you in, for, in private for a moment? Uh, well... Alright, come on. God, crawling in my skin. What's up? There's something I wanted to ask you. It's about my father's wish and what you saw in there. You know that's confidential, right? Yeah, but... You must know what it's like being in the family of a patient undergoing this procedure. Be honest, my mother was always against it and I wasn't a big fan either. But if father were to take on a new life's worth of memories, well, knowing what and why would at least help me come to terms with it. So please, could you tell me? Uh. You know, your father actually wished for something completely unremarkable. He just asked to be happy, that's all. I guess he certainly isn't, huh? Well, you shouldn't look at it that way. People are always going to have cravings and longings for what-ifs. He's just curious about grass on the other side of the fence, that's all. As humans are. I suppose so. But hey, he really did ask for you and your mother to stay as part of his new life. Hope that helps for what it's worth. Thanks, Doc. Good luck with the rest of it. I hope something works out. We'll do what we can. Kaneko, don't be tired now. It's okay, I'm a little tired. That's why I have coffee. Why does he need... I'll come back soon enough. I wonder if I can knock on this other person's apartment again. Because this was great when I did it the first time. Yes! You're still here! No! This isn't fair! I worked so hard my whole life and I have to die before I've even been to Detroit! Fuck this whole fucking fucking fuck you and your fuck- <laughs> You know what? I just realized. There's a medical doctor with you, right? Perhaps- perhaps they could still save me. Maybe if they just put in more effort. I've got some money. Tell them I'll pay. Tell them I'll pay anything. Go! Go to the real world and tell them to save me, please! It's not too late! <laughs> I just... Oh, God. <laughs> uh, that was great. That was really great. No, there's not... There shouldn't be multiple endings. 
I don't even know why I have all these little extra tidbits I can pick up. Hi, Bizarre! <clears throat> the little girl named Potato. I need to come back here! Oh, it's you again. Thank you and your girlfriend again for helping me get my bear back! She's not exactly. Well, hey, no worries. Yeah, thanks for helping. I can't afford to keep buying her new bears. Why is everyone a valley girl? The breath has been picking on my little potato for years. I wish someone would teach her a lesson. Oh, it's a girl. It's their mother. Now that I've e gotten even smaller potatoes, it's really got me worrying about the future. Why did you name your kids Potato? You named your other kid Potato, too? Of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a nickname. His real name's Spud. Are you fucking serious? Oh, by the way, the front desk man said you're here to visit old night Colin. You know Colin? Yeah, he once literally beat up Amber for me. Did I use that word right, Ma? No, dear, you meant figuratively. Oh, oh. But what I have, so anyway, last week Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then, though. Could you please give it back to him? Wait, lemon juice? What for? To write spy messages, of course. The journal isn't blank! It's got invisible ink! It's invisible ink. I've already written two secret letters to Spud for when he can read good. Old Man Colin said he was already done using it, so I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh. Huh. Lucky me. So, could you give the jar back to Colin? Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Well, he thinks. I'm going to write a letter to myself. Okay, Potato, it's time to head back home. Oh, uh, all right. Eva, are you calling for the machine? Yeah, at least this function's still working normally. Hey, listen, I think I might have figured out Colin's book with the blank pages. That's not important. Right now, I need you to check on something for me. Uh, what? Bye! Is everything going okay in there? Did you find that last memory link? No. Are you at a computer? I can be. Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? Oh. You think she was in a plane crash? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. I'll send you her extracted profile. There's enough data even without a last name. Let me check and know when you have the results. Okay. <clears throat> what about the pills? What are these pills he needs? Hello? Hey, Rox, you're still on your laptop, right? Yup, yup. I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me run a record or check? Sure. Mind telling me what you're up to with the machine? Uh... <laughs> Okay, okay, lucky puggy. It's settled then. I'll call you back with the results. <laughs> oh my god. There's so much shit going on right now. He needs his pills. Whatever these pills are for. I don't remember him into the moon needing pills. Is his change to the machine have something to do with whatever's going on with him? Let's get depressing. It's not gonna... To the Moon had a very upbeat, very emotional upbeat ending. I have a feeling this is gonna be the same. Hey, Eva, I'm still working on the... Neil? Can you hear me? Uh, yes? Hello? Are you there? Right here. What is it? Neil, if you can hear me... Listen, I don't think she... Eva? Are you still there? Weird. Com must be malfunctioning. No, it's not. Something else is going on. I'll fix it as soon as I get back. Yeah. yeah. Very. What? That's Faye! Wait a minute. Oh, that's a nice bike. If that's Faye, sure wish I had one like it. Then she's been here multiple times because of the memories her bike has been there. 
Eva, what happened earlier? Nah, it's Roxy, you silly potty. Oh. Uh, so how's the record search going? Oh, it's going just great. Actually, no, it's not great at all. Well, what Rob's saying is that it depends on your perspective. What? It's a yes or no question. Did she die in a plane crash or not? Well... So here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record, so you won't have to worry about that. Sheesh, why didn't you just say so? A simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all, though. The thing is, not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record either. What? In fact, there is no record of Faye. As in no record available to public domain? As in no record in existence anywhere. What the fuck? We've checked the cumulative public record, the private ID network databases even. Well, even a few places that we technically don't have access to. What if she was made up? Oh my god, what if he has a multiple personality disorder? Still, there is no record of her for anything. No death, not even birth. Oh. Oh. So unless Colin's got some extreme form of distortive amnesiac condition... He doesn't, I checked. Yeah, so... Oh, sorry, I got another call. Hello? What the fuck is going on? Also, can I say this music is so appropriate for this? I said appropriate. <laughs> Act three, even if it was just someone like me. If she never existed, that means she was an imaginary friend that Colin kept around for forever. And if that was the case, the reason they, was, they started separating was because he no longer needed her. Hey, where are you two going? Company called. We got another patient going live across town. Yeah, gotta hop. Sorry, now. Night call, huh? Should have taken a nap. <laughs> We're all used to it by now. Seems like you've got a handful to sort out yourself, huh? Yes, if what we yielded means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. At least from our experience. Patients capable of that tend to be rather peculiar cases. I've read the patient's case, by the way. Care for a word of advice? Well, you're probably going to give it anyway, so... I don't know the details of Colin's life, but this reminds me of a case we've done. Just try to remember that making someone happy isn't only about finding the answers. It could also be about shaping the question. Anyhow, good luck. You didn't consent to this a potential mindfuck, Ben? <laughs> By the way, don't think you're getting off the hook, AZ. After this is done, you've got some explaining to do, don't you? Uh... And it's gonna be so much fun! See ya, I'm looking forward to it! You know, this game's not even over yet, and I really hope they make a third one. Oh, wait, something just occurred to me. Although, I'm not sure why yet. I do know that you removed the machine stabilizer. But with the patient's subconsciousness being narrow wired to the system's processor... Well, I hope you got a backup plan if he's got able to get around its single-thread firewall. Oh. Oh. We need to read this journal. We need to fucking read this journal. She has it. Where the fuck is the journal? <laughs> Maybe it's bathroom material. Maybe it's in the bathroom. Hey, where's the journal? Hey, Sophia, I think I found... We can talk later. Please head back in there for now. Seems like something's gone wrong. Crap. Damn it. Resume memory transversal? Yes. 
Where's this bitch? Well, who the hell was in the parking lot then on the bike? Ever? It's probably best not to provoke anything before figuring out what's going on. I should find Eva first. There's a hibiscus right there. Is that the... Memento second, finding Eva first. Yeah, that's the memento. Where the hell's Eva? Wait, something's different with that Colin's avatar. What's different? Huh? The link to his timeline's overworld got unlocked. Even if Eva's not there anymore, it'd be easier to look for her from there. Enter overworld? What is the overworld? Ow. <clears throat> all the memories and all the mementos attached. What is that? Oh. Eva, are you here? <laughs> Every memory of Colin that we've pieced together so far. She's gotta be in one of them. That's the one we're at. We're missing that memento. Personnel Dr. Eva Rosalie not detected. Rotate mementos. Still missing one last memento. Better wait until we catch them all. Catch them all. Personnel Dr. Eva Rosalie not uh, detected. Where could she be? Personnel Dr. Eva Rosalie not detected. Personnel Dr. Rosalie not detected. Not here either. What if he's not stable anymore and that's why he needed to fix the machine? Uh, it's possible? Personnel Dr. Eva Rosalie not detected. I'm also aware that it's possible that Watts has a personality disorder and it's somehow breaking through. And maybe that's why he's taking pills. Personnel Dr. Eva Rosalie not detected. What? The vortex of the anomaly has been bouncing us around. I guess it's near the memory we left off at. Personnel Dr. Ever Rosalie not detected. Deck Nabbit, how can she not be, be in the machine but nowhere in the memories? Unless... System narrowed on Eva's most recent position. Well, duh. Freaking Bermuda Triangle. Guess it's back to the crime scene. System, load up all available record recordings from here. <clears throat> I'm heading out. Get the forms ready for a fill-in. Wait, what? Flippin' corn cobs. How can this one memory link be so hard to find? And that idiot sure is taking his sweet time. Wait a minute. Are you in a computer? Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. What did she figure out and what did she want to rule out? Neil, can you hear me? Hello, are you there? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she's real. 
She's she's all in his head and something strange is happening. Hello? Say something. What? Oh! Something happened with the tree, though. There it is. Uh, what is this? Ah! You. Oh, it's Jean Grey. What did you do to Eva? Holy shit. What the fuck is this? Oh, oh, damn it. This isn't even a freaking genre of patient I signed up for. What do you want? Leave. We can't leave. This is our job. Colin signed for us uh, signed for us to be here. He changed his mind. Leave. You don't belong here. Fine, you want to play hardball? Let's play freaking hardball. You may have the host subconsciousness, but I'm still the admin of this world. I never thought I'd have to use this, but you leave me no choice. It's time to show you my true power. Is he gonna go Super Saiyan again? God, he's failing. This gesture controlled interface was a terrible idea. <laughs> what the hell is Watts doing? No. <laughs> Sailor Moon. <laughs> oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Why? It's exactly Sentry. Why? <laughs> that was cringe. I think that's the point. Watts is ridiculous. think I'm going to show mercy, you'd be sadly mistaken. Give up now and maybe I'll consider... <laughs> it figures. It so figures. Please leave. She threw the memory at him and then revoked it. <laughs> Deck Nabbit. I love Watts too. He is a great character. This is so not what I built that back door for. I guess even my code needs testing before practical use. Uh, what the heck happened to Eva? I need to get to the bottom of this. Received note, Faye. Okay, let's see this note. Not exactly the girl across the balcony. Oh, he's Colin's not doing good. <laughs> Yeah, this seems a little low on the list of priorities right now. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Any instance of Colin should get me back to the overworld. Let's do a save real quick. Okay. Any instance of Colin. There were instances here. Here. Uh, 
What happened to the other columns? System narrow down positions of rogue mental activity. Is it detected and all she's split up everywhere? Where do you even begin? Uh go to childhood. Rotate these? I'll get to that when things aren't bat turd crazy. Okay. Traverse. Yeah, Colin's condition's failing. That all, It's just a good indication of how much further you have in the story. She's here somewhere. System disable interactivity for all non-operators, including Colin. Disable interactivity for all non-operators. Good try, but I sure don't recall the poster looking like that. You look a little distorted, by the way. You try squeezing in there and looking the same. What is she doing? What the? What is this place? You tell me. What? Wait a minute. This, this is my unfinished interface? How are you even here? And where is Eva? Why should I tell you? You were going to remove me from Colin's memories. Uh, we weren't necessarily gonna. You're here to do your job, are you not? You said yourselves that you'd start with me, then work your way up. We only said that because we didn't know you could hear us. Wait, that came out wrong. But listen, you need to believe me. I'm on the patient side, not the contracts. This, this is just a misunderstanding. We're here to do what's best for Colin, and we can work with us to make it happen. <laughs> that doesn't sound enticing. Be nice if that were the case. But should I believe you? Well, let's see. No. <laughs> Access to current memory denied. Commencing forced booting. Hey, wait. I'm the admin. Oh. Oh. Damn it, did my own system just elope with my patient's freaking imaginary friend? Yeah, the scariest part is that Faye. Faye was, has been aware of them the entire time then. I have a feeling the static that we were seeing is because of... That's Faye right there. That was you walking by here, wasn't it? I called that in the beginning that it must be her. But I didn't understand why. It's none of your business anymore. So, I, yeah, I think she's always been there due to some mental disorder or something. Who knows what. But he's been getting, she's been slowly dwindling from his mind as he's gotten older. This again. Hey, look over there! <laughs> okay, it isn't fair that you're basically wired to the system's processor. Why won't you just give up and leave us alone? I know Colin signed the contract, but he only did it out of desperation. He didn't understand the consequences, but he does now. Listen, I don't know what you take us for, but we're here to help him. I mean, I don't know exactly how yet, but at least give us a chance. Just tell me where Eva is and give us the memory link so we can finish the job. Your colleague. To tell you the truth, I don't actually know where she is. And as for the memory link... <laughs> A giant paper plane? You'll have to go through me. Fuck. Fight. Oh my god, seriously? No! That was your choice, so be it. That's not fair, I can't even leave a mark on you! No, that's not fair! That was not fair! That was a cheat move! There was no chance at all. Access to current memory tonight. Commence, commencing forced booting. Okay, this sucks. Traverse. 
Ultraverse. Let's go into Grandpa's memories. Grandpa Colin. In the plane. Right there. So, how did you buy a ticket for this scene? <clears throat> I wasn't even here in the actual memory. Get it right. Hey, look, that paper plane thing was totally uncool. But what did you mean when you said you don't know where Eva is? I saw the footage. You were the one who locked her away. No. All I did was lock the communication channels and give her a scare. I don't know where she went afterwards. In fact, she disappeared soon after you returned. Disappeared? As in she unplugged from the machine? Yes, she's no longer here. And if you don't leave too, well, I'm I'm gonna make you leave. Oh my god, again. <laughs> We're doing this again. Wait, how are you even accessing my private programs like this? That was wasn't what I was asking at all. Okay, uh, uh, jump, move right, defend, shoot. Okay, got it. Go. Ow. Damn it! I can't even shield her attacks. Yeah. Ow. Access to current memory denied, commencing forced booting. What is this anymore? We're losing access to every memory. Ugh. Did ever really unplug from the machine? Maybe I should too. Wait, but if I'm not here either, Faye might, might even be able to reset our progress. I guess there's at least some use in keeping her busy. Oh, this is how his oldest. Okay. We're gonna go into his oldest memory. What the fuck is even this? <laughs> Wait a minute. This is the last accessible memory where we saved a communicative copy of Colin. Not quite as bright as the real thing, but sure beats nothing at all. That's true. the hibiscus right there. It should be right down here. Colin, can you hear me? Oh, you're back. Yes, listen, I need your help. What the? Hello? <clears throat> God damn it. You locked down the one who created you? That? No, that's not the real Colin. That's merely a partial copy of him that you created. Here she goes again. Look, we don't have a lot of time left. If Colin's wish is to be fulfilled, we need you to work with us. Do you still not understand? Colin's wish is no longer something you can grant him. His wish now is for you to be gone. What did you do? What? I didn't do anything! Unless... Eva? Hey, that wasn't so bad anymore. Wait a minute. Sweet, it's a Christmas miracle! Don't get ahead of yourself. <clears throat> We're on the plane again. This again? won't let you get to him. I, I just... I just shoot her. Go. Oh, she's dealable now. Go. Go. Ow. I wanna I wanna beat her up. 
Ow. Ow. I'm not gonna survive this. I'm gonna have to do this all over again. Ow. Or maybe not. This height isn't real. This height isn't real. Reset scenario. Gats, retry the battle. I'm gonna do this again. You could accept the outcome too. Abusing the reset function isn't gonna change anything. Hey, you're the one abusing the system here. Got to go. No. No. Ow. Why did I do that? No. Can't, I can't hit her. Can't hit her. Come on. No. No. Oh no. Oh my god, I don't know how I managed to do that. Yeah, that's fine. Getting hit by one's better than getting hit by What the hell? Ow. There we go. A big fay. This music is pretty awesome, too. <coughs> Rogue activity no longer detected in this memory. Finally, something's working. This instance of Colin's still locked somehow. Yeah. <coughs> Eva, are you here somewhere? I didn't try this one yet. So, did he go up the mountain on his own? This kid had a really sad life. Hey. been here since the beginning, haven't you? You've only had a glimpse of his life. Don't speak as if you know the beginning. Oh my god. Come on, you've lost your edge. That's quite the confidence for someone who just got lucky. There's still time. Work with us. We'll make the best of this. The best of this would be you leaving Colin alone. And I'll be the one making sure of that. We're doing the fight sequence now. You know, I can take you on now, right? Ah! <laughs> Try me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did she dodge all that? There we go. Barely had to do anything. <clears throat> Rogue activity no longer detected in this memory. Booyah! Eva should see me now! Gotta get out of here. That one wasn't nearly as hard as the paper airplane. 
External patch installation initiated. What the? Is that you, Eva? Is that Dr. Winters? Can I go back in these? Access to memory denied. Rogue mental activity detected. This wasn't here before. <sighs> She's here somewhere. Better not leave so soon. She always liked that one painting. Nope. Why are there, like, leaves? It's locked. It's locked. <coughs> oh, Eva. I don't think it's Eva. Eva? There you are! Hey, where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Did you see Faye around here? Don't worry, I took care of her. Already? What did you do? Oh, and uh, sorry about the mess here. I probably should have cleaned it up. You know, I've been thinking that we should just leave. Wait, what? The patient clearly doesn't want us here. We should respect his wishes. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's her. Patients don't always know what they really want. You of all people should know that. Wait a minute. Aw. I guess it's no use. I should know by now. You aren't just gonna leave. I really don't know what to do anymore. But I have to keep going. Even if it just stalls you. Uh. Okay, wait. Hold on just a minute. What? Wow, these clouds sure aren't as fluffy as they look. It's the big boss battle of it. <laughs> she even has an alternate form. <laughs> You've gone on for long enough. Sephiroth! <laughs> but this is where your trespassing ends. Oh my god. Forfeit battle. What happens if I just forfeit the battle? What happens? Actually, you know what? I'm not doing this. I see that you're making wise choices. Well, it doesn't seem like a good idea to fight what is practically this world itself. But you aren't exactly that, are you? Because if you really do represent the actual unchanged subconsciousness of Colin, then... Well, you could have done a lot more by now and turned this whole construct against us. You're just a single loose mental strand far from being able to speak for Colin. You had to leave during the magical girl Valkyrie cringe formation? What did you miss? Uh, we've been trying- we've been locked out of memories and been trying to gain control and Faye has a lot of control going on. Sure, it may not represent his entirety, but so what? Colin got lost and it's hard not to be with all of that you tempted him with. <clears throat> That's okay, though. He might not always know what he wants, but I know what he needs. Yeah, but you could very well be wrong. I mean, no offense, but you aren't much more than that incomplete copy of Colin back there. In fact, I'm not even sure if there's a point in talking to you right now. After all, you're just an ethereal figment of his imagination that never even existed. Perhaps so, but is that any different from what you're here to do? It's true. Eva? Hey, sorry, I had to head out for a moment there. She's all in Colin's head, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm intimately familiar with that fact by now. But what were you doing? You just bailed out on me! I was out administering sedatives to curb Colin's brain activity. Not sure how his mental process could override us, but it was getting out of hand. 
So that wasn't a Christmas miracle after all. It took a while to work out the dosage, as we still need his brain functioning. Seems like it's working, though. The effect should be sinking in more now. <laughs> Dogs! Wow, just what have you been dealing with over here? Don't ask. The animations in this are really well done. The heck is that? <laughs> just some new code Roxy sent me. She said she saw issues with the machine earlier and knew we'd be in trouble. Wrote a patch in the car while Gerard was driving, apparently. Really? That quickly? Damn. Pfft, show off. Did, uh, did you say anything else about the machine? Aside from you doing a crappy job with the self repairs? No, not like there was much time to talk. Actually, I'm still not sure if Colin is stable enough for this to work yet. She tried to Naruto run. Ugh, seems like the sedatives still need to sink in a bit more. This isn't good. We don't have the time to wait around anymore. Actually, let me try something. You just wait here, because uh, she might come back this way. Hey, hold on a minute. It's only a matter of time now, isn't it? I might not be able to beat you, but don't count on my compliance. No, I'm not here to... Actually, wait. Wow, it worked! What now? You're bringing me here to get back at me earlier? No, I brought you here for privacy. This place should be off the record, even from Eva. Uh-huh, and what do you want? Your cooperation. I thought we went over that already. Sure, but now I have something to offer you in return. What can you possibly offer me? Something mutually beneficial, actually. And even if you don't care for it, I have a feeling that Colin would. How did it go? She never came back this way. Well... How? Pure talent. Rox has her tricks and I have mine. Okay, no need to overcompensate. Are we going to go then? Yeah, she won't be bothering us any longer. Not that she'd be able to anyway with the sedative setting in. Well, that effect is only temporary. We have little time as it is. Come on, let's move on already while we still can. S what about the book? The book isn't... I guess it's not exactly a journal after all. So what is it if it's not a journal? Sheesh, are they just spreading hibiscus seeds everywhere they go? <clears throat> Let's prepare this. Oh man. Oh my god. <sighs> um Damn it. I need it to go down. What if I keep doing this? <laughs> oh! Hold on. There's one. There we go. That works. Whatever. To the Moon had some sort of twist like this, I rem from, if I remember correctly. Here's another memory. Oh, that grass strip. 
Well, let's go and see what we find at the vortex of all this. I have a guess. <clears throat> Didn't exactly stick to that soft landing, field landing, huh? Not like I had much practice on an actual grass strip. So, uh, you think this is a case of schizophrenia? Well, with that, the patient usually has trouble actively distinguishing delusion from reality. But in this case, I get the feeling that he's actually well aware of it. Still can't say for certain, but I'm leaning towards some kind of defense mechanism instead. The more curious question is how is she able to materialize here so vividly? That being said, could she still hear us? Don't know about that, but... This should be just a normal memory playback now. Well, here's another one of these. Okay. To the Moon had his brother. Yeah, I, I forget what the To the Moon was, but To the Moon was, um... It was good. It was really good. What you waiting for? Come on! Haven't you ever heard of the phrase, stop and smell the roses? There are flowers on top of the hill too, you know? I'll race you there. Is he that lonely of a person? He had no friends ever? Like, that is the realization, too. It's like, he would have had no friends growing up and through his young adult life. And his only friend would be someone that he made up in his head. Hey, I was thinking, it's a little windy today. Maybe we should come back some other time instead. Oh, don't be such a downer. We're practically already there. Hey, remember when we played Catch Me If You Can? Does the hibiscus mean anything? I don't know yet. I think the hibiscus is uh, um, sort of like a fond memory of his honeymoon or where he wanted to go. The wind? It wasn't there a moment ago. Remember, the reason why he started flying was he said a friend of his went away a long time ago. Somewhere far away, and he wanted to be able to fly there. Okay, what is the matter now? Let's just rest here for a while. Again, you barely walked any steps. Hey, I'm the one who has to carry this thing uphill. Oh, I just thought you'd have gotten stronger by now, that's all. Cello got bigger too, you know. Just come and sit here with me for a bit, will you? remember the first time we came here? Which first time? The second one, I guess. The one where I tried to race you up the hill. Oh yeah, that was a dumb move. You sure were excited to take me up there, though. Yeah, it had been a while since I took anyone there. It's still one of my favorite places. I've always liked how it overlooked the city. It really has been a while, hasn't it? I rather miss going there. So why are you hesitating? Hmm? We're mere steps away from there, you know. Why are you stopping every step along the way? Stop kidding yourself, Colin. You're not tired and it's not the wind. We've already come so far. You know as well as I what we have to do. What? This is the vortex, so this is, this is, this is where everything, this is the memory that cements everything, apparently. It's like the center point of everything. <clears throat> and there's a hibiscus here, too. The first time we came here... That was the first time I accompanied you to play the scales too, wasn't it? Yeah, it helped. It still does, actually. Well, no one likes to practice scales alone. But, you could never actually hear what I was playing, could you?
It's nice up there today. It always is. You don't have to leave anymore. I can fly now. Wherever you go, I can go with you. You really are stubborn, aren't you? Don't you think you're getting a bit too old for me to stay? People would laugh at you if they knew. They can laugh all they want, I don't care. You made me who I am today. I learned to fly because of you. I kept playing the cello because of you. <laughs> Brad, I saw what that was I was trying to say. You taught me to practice the scales. No, Colin. I can't teach you anything you don't know, nor can I make you do anything you don't want. Maybe all you really wanted was for someone to be there. Even if it was just someone like me. <clears throat> I know it's mesmerizing here, Colin. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Sometimes stepping out of this little world we've made is the only way to notice and appreciate all the beautiful things all around you. I just don't want to be alone. Sure, if I go you'll be alone at times even when you don't want to be. That's all a part of growing up and it's all a part of life. It's what makes fleeting memories of loved ones treasured and our memories precious. It's also what drives you to seek out what you wouldn't find if you stayed here with me. There's a lot out there just waiting for you, Colin. <clears throat> I can't promise it'll always be good, but I know you won't find all that you need living only in these pages of ours. You brought me into this world, I won't forget that. And while some things are meant to stay, some are only meant to carry you so far. In my own way, you know I will always be there to protect you. And whatever comes, if it's something we could do, then it's something you could do. What do you say, Colin? Are you ready? So that's his adult self talking to him and giving himself another piece of advice that Faye would have given him, which is to let her go so that he could live. I don't know. Because that's what she's been doing the whole time. It's himself giving himself advice. I don't think I'm ready for it to end. I don't care what you are or aren't. You were my first real friend. Hey, this doesn't have to be the end for us. One day you might look back and realize how fast this precious life has passed you by. And on that day I'll come back once more. We'll talk like how we used to talk and you'll tell me about your day. No, about your life. You'll tell me about what a happy life you've had and all the nice memories you've made. I might not have such a happy life, you know. You're such a downer, you know that? Have a little faith in yourself, Colin. Of course you will. I know you will. It may take a long time and it may take a lot of work and effort. But when that day comes, I know you'll have lots of happy memories to share. Oh, she's fading. Oh, it's almost time. How much have you written in that book by now? You've replaced its pages so many times, huh? I must talk a lot. Sorry about that. But now that I'm going, perhaps you could finally spare more pages for other things. It's your book. You don't have to always write about me anymore. It's just like life, right? Same book filled with all kinds of different pages as it should be. So has he been just basically writing a journal about his life, but he fills in every lonely moment with a friend that never existed? Well, this has got, like, feels. <laughs> Take care of yourself, alright? Hey. I still haven't said goodbye yet. You already have, Colin. The 
long, long time ago. Yeah, I got tears too. <laughs> Who's <laughs> cutting onions? Shira Rose. <laughs> yeah, post it in Discord. I'm curious about the hibiscus. I'll look at it after I'm done. I'm not crying, you are. <laughs> Shut up, 120 Brad. <laughs> Just because your heart is made of stone! <laughs> she never came back, did she? Guess not. Now we know what we need to change. I wonder if she's a cause or an effect. Huh? As in, do you think Colin's unhappy because she never came back again? If Colin only wanted to see her again, I doubt he would have needed to call us. Yeah, so perhaps her absence at the end meant that he was already unhappy by then. Back to square one. Oh. This place is destabilizing again. We don't have much time left. Let's move. We have to make do with what we have. Wait, do we even know what we're doing with him yet? I have a few ideas to try, but we still need to link the mementos first. Let's get back to the overworld and figure things out while we do that. Alright. What the hell? What the heck? Uh, wait just up. <laughs> Watts. You cry at a lot of cartoons for no reason. You don't know why, but this gets nothing out of you. Oh my god, are you serious? In my own way, I will always be there to protect you. So what the fuck happened to Watts? This little sperm Rosal Rosaline. <laughs> Neil, what's taking you so long? This place is falling apart. There's no time to wait for him. Okay. I'm gonna take a very, very tiny, tiny break because I have to use the bathroom and just meet in the mic. I'll be right back. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I had pressed the button. It didn't go through. Thank you, Rat Brad. What is this place? It's not like that puzzle was all that difficult. Yay. It's memories. Fragmented memories. It's memories. They're falling apart.
Why are they falling apart? Oh, this memory. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly there's no more time. And I find myself here just like everyone else. I just want to feel like I've done everything in this world before I go, you know? That's why we are here, Colin. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? I have his regrets. I want you to make me live that fulfilling life without changing anything I've been through. Uh, Faye's protecting them? I think so. Because I think our goal is going to be to try and somehow incorporate Faye into his life. <clears throat> Call them. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Fia. I won't forget about you. The jellyfish. We only have so little time in this life and we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things we'd want to try, other paths to take. It's a fishies and the jellyfish and the sharkies. Goodbye, little kid. Oh, that's when he spilled his drink. Fuck shit, bitch. Fuck, fuck this. Did it spill on your dress? Hey, just one more excuse to jump into the lagoon. Without any clothes on. You know, we don't have to waste all that lemon juice. We can lick it up. Have you ever tried riding with it? Lemon juice? No, why? <laughs> Then prepare to be mind blown by some elementary school magic. Get this, it's invisible ink. Invisible ink? Yep, the writing appears in color only when you heat the paper up. Come on, I'll show you. Let's write something with it. It's been a while since I've written. Well, never too late to start again. How about a letter? To who? Each other, of course. We can write about this trip. It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? And at the end of it, we could show each other what we wrote of it all. Why was this not a part of that memory earlier? It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? Yeah, why wasn't this? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, go back. What am I supposed to be doing? I, I don't think I'm supposed to be going back. Oh, there it is. I missed it. I missed it. Oh, that's the him writing the letter right there. Why would you even consider? Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make-believe? I'm not tossing aside anything. We all have regrets, be it righting a wrong or a dream long past. At Sigmund Corp, we give you that second chance to make things right, because with our help, it's never too late. Okay, can I get another thing? Wait, these don't seem like just randomly scattered memories. Could it be that the sedative's wearing off? You are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. You were no, no longer aloof, you know. When you're here, you're actually here. Because when she first met him, he would had Faye. <clears throat> Are these his memories as they actually were? I know it's mesmerizing here. Faye spoke after a pause, shifting her gaze back up to the sky. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? He wrote stories about his own life. Okay, look, I got it. I got your message, you hear me? I know you're still here. You can come and get me now. Damn it, I really thought it was her. 
Uh, wait, is that really the only way to? <laughs> hey, have you been? I figured it out, Eva. I figured out the impossible. I mean, it took an unholy amount of spoon feeding, but <laughs> I guess that's what it takes when we're on the inside of it. What are you talking about? Yes, just what are you talking about? The sedative, it wore off already? You don't sound too happy about it. We're here to help Colin, and you're the mental process that's in the way. Well, lucky for you, that can be amended now, can't it? So, looks like we're about out of time. If you're going to erase me for good, you might as well hurry. No, we're not going to erase you. We're going to erase us. What? Wait, what? Colin never needed our service, Eva. Oh my god, that car in the background. I hope that it's not going through this stream. Colin never needed our service, Eva. He already had her. The ability to change his reality to live in a different world. One that filled the gaps of what he wanted all in his head. She is what we do, Eva. And yet, she left. She left, which could have only meant one thing. What, what, you're trying to imply... No, that can't be right. What we do is different from just this. How is it different? We, because there's more to it. There's more to what we do. We fulfill wishes. We give meaning to people's lives. What we do, it has to be more than just that of an imaginary friend. It's a lot more elaborate for sure. But for someone who had to fight just to let go of fantasy and embrace reality, maybe our existence was merely an unwelcomed amplifier. A reminder of the make-believe, the imaginary. And the endless possibilities that make reality seem less than what it is. Hey, you two, things aren't looking good with the patient. I don't know what you're up to, but you might want to get out of there. And by might want to, I mean need to. <clears throat> After all that, huh? I guess none of this even matters anymore. There's no way we'd still have the time to implement any actual changes. No, we might not have that time. But what about her? She's already linked to the machine's interface, right? Without us, all procedures would be internalized. So much could be done in a fraction of a moment. You're suggesting giving sole control of the machine to a mental process of the patient? Mushroom. The ethical implications of that, it hasn't been done for good reasons. It hasn't been done because no patient has had the chance like this. Besides, what's our alternative? Goku the Hero Kamehame has followed. Thank you for the follow. And I missed Microcosm when you followed an hour ago, I'm sorry. <laughs> Besides, what's our alternative? Just leave a mark this as a write-off? But what about legal complications and the contract it says? Oh, come on, Eva. When has the contract stopped us? Your goal is to make him happy, make him happy! Uh, guys. Go on, I'll be right behind. Don't say I never trust you. Why are you doing this for us? Well, if I were calling it on my last breath, I'd trust you over two strangers in white coats, right? Strangers, huh? Your colleague was right about one thing. There is more to what you do than just playing God with people's memories. You've been here for just a day, yet. In all of his lifetime, no one has truly seen the world through his eyes like you have. And well, you're kind of the first I've been able to meet, too. In some silly way, maybe that's a part of what Colin really wished for. It was one heck of a meet and greet, that's for sure. Full admin access transferred to unknown credential fay. <laughs> You're gonna be alright? Just a little nervous, I guess. Well, given the circumstances, I say that's pretty alright. <laughs> 
Hey. Do you think that in some ways I've truly existed? Well, for what it's worth, I think all our memories and everything in it can be nothing but the fiction we tell ourselves. Good luck out here. Colin's counting on you. His blood pressure is dropping. Vital signs are fading fast. I think he's letting go. <clears throat> the book... I'm sorry for your loss. Please take all the time you need. <clears throat> I'll be in the living room with the paperwork. When they're ready, I'll let them know. Get the book, get the book, get the book. She doesn't know about the book, so... They need a moment. Uh, <laughs> so I guess we'll talk to lots. Always a little stark, isn't it? Seeing it like this after just having been in there. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm just a little cold. It felt warmer in there. What we did back there, do you know if it worked? Hard to say. I'll try to dig through the data afterward, but... Well, it's never been done like this before. I don't know how coherent it'd be. Guess we got another mess of a report to write. You can take care of that when the dust settles. In the meantime, I just remembered something. So, did you succeed? There was a complication. We tried to cope with something unorthodox, but I'm not sure if we'll ever know what really happened in those last moments. We might. It might be in the journal. Hey, Sophia said you got a lighter? Uh, yeah. Don't burn the book! Burn the book. Major Mad, stop it! <laughs> stood up very tall. I think my voice was fairly small. But there were times I'd want to shout, though my thoughts weren't sorted out. So I'd stumble and I'd The only time his parents ever interacted with him. Because of you. So if you left, I could go. He, he just sat there and wrote about what he did with her. He never actually did any of this. You saw in me. That's what I wanted to be. Trading my 
used to wish my life away. Sophia, will you marry me? If the people at the wedding had been static, I would have been so angry. <laughs> I have no idea what the song is called. Never fade, though we've turned ten thousand pages, flying high or stuck below. And these are all the memories from the photo album too. She did. She erased all mention of Sigmund Corp and she removed herself. Did she fully remove herself, though? Did he like that apartment originally because it was a balcony facing another balcony? Looking for something, old timer. Yeah, this part is hard to watch. It's been a while, huh? Long while. She didn't erase herself. She showed up in the end. You haven't changed much. And whose fault is that now? Listen, I wish it were under better circumstances, but I know. I wish I still had the time to tell you about all that's happened since then. It's okay. I was there. I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one thing, though. Do you still have any regrets? Regrets? Yeah, I have a lot of those. But, that's okay. The chances I missed, the mishaps, and all that I wish I had. Well, they were all still part of it. They made way for all that I do have. And what I do have, I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. That's all I wish to hear. They're waiting for you. It's time to go home. Hey, Colin. Sorry I had to leave back then.
thank you for having been there, even when nobody else was. <laughs> yeah, that's major feels. <laughs> Hi, honey. You don't like this game? Go away. <laughs> yeah. It's just sad, but really good. Oh. That was his last memory. Totally did not expect Faye to be what she was. Totally did not. So, Mr. Can Reeves Gao, make a third game, please. Just as long as it's as good as the first two. Because if you spit one out, I'm going to be very angry. <laughs> well, he did wish that she would be coming back in the end one last time so that he could say talk to her and just tell her about everything like he used to achievement unlocked wish granted Ugh. that is fucking fantastic that's amazing yeah <laughs> Hey, um, for those of you who've never seen To the Moon, uh, spoilers, that person dies at the end, too. <laughs> Wait until the credits are over. Yeah, I'm waiting until the credits are over. Can I speed them up? No. <laughs> I just... I did like how his memories of the family that ran the airport was, like, a mafia-owned airport. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Your eyes, they're burning. <laughs> Special thanks to my grandparents and family and the Freebird Games Online community and supporters. The airport mafia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're planning on watching the VOD? What VOD? Which VOD? Oh, are they at the funeral? So, okay, I I'm gonna say this before I continue. I'm betting they're gonna have a third game just because, unless they're gonna do it now, we don't know what's going on with Watts or why he needed pills. Where are you? Uh, my scotch, drinking home. What? <laughs> you said you'd be here. I said I'd visit like we always do, not attend the funeral. When was the last time we even did that? I know, but I just thought we owe it to him after. Dr. Rosaline, we're about to start. Go on, I'll get my, I'll get my turn. The bird story is a part of this story, so it's a bit of a prequel. Huh. I'll have to look that up. Oh yeah, no. There's the stream from the beginning. It's being uploaded. So yes, yeah, so you'll be able to see it all. Alright, enjoy your scotch. You know it. What is he messing around with? Now, where were we? Oh, uh, not like sketchy at all now. I asked you to knock, not hack my lock. Switching to digital was a terrible idea. Why, do you, why didn't you just keep both locks on? Deck nab it, Rob. I don't know why she even got you involved. Look, we don't have long. Are you guys still in or not? You better! 
So, is that the solution you were talking about? Yeah, that's her. What? Episode 2, Finding Paradise. Episode to the Moon, Sigmund Court Mini. What? I don't think I've seen all that. There's mini sods? I never played it or the bridge story! 